with Seth Moulton, the Democratic nominee for Congress in the 6th Congressional District, and Richard Tissay, the Republican nominee. And gentlemen, uh, just last week, this district got some very good economic news when Raytheon landed an Air Force contract for new radar technology that apparently will be worth close to $72 million for the facilities in Tuxbury and Andover. If you were in Congress a month ago and you got a call on a Friday night that Republicans and Democrats in the congressional delegation of another state were about to steal that contract away, that kind of thing happens all the time, I'd like to know real specifically, who would you call and what would you say to them? Let's start with you, Mr. Tissé. Well, that's, unfortunately, that has been happening uh, because we don't have anybody in the majority in Congress. I think the first thing I would do is I'd call the speaker, I'd call the majority leader, I would raise holy hell and say, hey, you know, uh, this is being stolen from our state. And again, John, I mentioned it earlier, we, we have a, Hanscom, the future of Hanscom is at um, risk right now. Um, it's a huge, you know, job incubator for the area, uh, economic economically the state has had to go out and hire a lobbyist to protect that because they you know because our delegation doesn't have the clout like we used to when tip o'neill and ted kennedy were around so within the congress i would do that and then i would build a coalition like i did at the state house i'd bring all the stakeholders together and try to put a strategy together to make sure that 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 we ended up on the right side of that issue what about you mr moulton I would call uh, the, fellow, the people that I served with in the Pentagon who are actually making these decisions about who gets these contracts. I, I would talk to... Can you, uh, can you give us a name? Well, for example, uh, General McChrystal and General Petraeus have been big supporters of my campaign, and they have close contacts with the people in Washington who so are making these them. decisions. So I'd go through them. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd work with people who are going to uh, influence decisions for our district and make sure that this contract came here. You know, we've never had fewer veterans in Congress in our nation's history, and we don't have a single combat veteran representing us in either the House or the Senate in Massachusetts. You know, in the last debate, uh, Senator Tissay said that he would go to Washington to be a lobbyist. Well, we need to do much more than that. We need to, we need to send people who go to Washington uh, to be leaders, to lead on these issues, and to make sure that good jobs and good businesses come here to the 6th District of Massachusetts. So I, what I said was I would do what I did at the State House. I would be an advocate for the communities I represented. And I would find the issues... You use the term lobbyist. Uh, I think people get it. If you live in any of the communities in my uh, old Senate district, you knew that I brought a lot of money back to the district. We built new schools, new senior centers, state grants, legislation. I did all of that. And that's what's going to make me a great congressman. I'll be able to walk in to the Capitol on day one and understand Seth has great experience as a platoon leader. That I could never do what you did in Iraq. I appreciate your service. But I'm trained to be a legislator, you know, and a good legislator at that. And, and it isn't just my, our district. It's going to be our whole state and our whole region. And, you know, that's where we need help right now. Senator, to say, I know you have a lot of training as a legislator. And the question in this election is whether we need more career politicians in Washington, D.C., or whether we, under, we have send people who really understand what it's like to be on the ground. I started a small business. I know how hard it is to face that day when you might not meet, meet payroll. I know what it is to be a leader to stand up uh, when people Seth, ask you the toughest started a questions small in business Washington, D.C. For four and, months and let me and say one other thing. In the, let him finish and then yeah, equal sure. time there. In, in the last debate, uh, Senator Tissay, uh, you said that you would give Washington the benefit of the doubt when it comes to putting American ground troops in Iraq or Syria. That's what Congress did in 2003 when they gave President Bush the benefit of the doubt going into Iraq. And as a result, 4,486 young Americans have lost their lives. 4,486 parents have lost a son or daughter. Yeah. I will never give Washington the benefit of the doubt when it comes to putting Americans into harm's way. Well, you know, you recently asked whether the president had done a good job in Iraq to rate him, and you gave him a B. And I think most people out there would say it's an F. It's been a total disaster. When you have Jimmy Carter coming out and saying, you know, that the Iraq policy that we've had in place is a disaster, you know, that's what it is. Senator, I, uh, no, I want to. I want to. I, I want to finish time. my. But you know, the president went from saying that they were a JV team to at this point admitting that we have a problem. He's trying to put together a plan. I would have voted for the resolution to allow the aid to the Syrian rebels. I would have voted for the airstrikes. I do not want to tie the president's hands. And when it comes to ground troops, I'm not going to go in like you, Seth, and say automatically off the table because we don't know what's going to happen week to week. This is a very serious threat. So I do want to give the president the tools in his toolbox that he needs to protect our country. Go ahead. And that's a nonpartisan thing. Senator, to say, if you give the president an F on his handling of Iraq, then why on earth would you give him the benefit of the doubt? when it comes to putting young Americans Be in the harm's because, way. I'm not saying uh, that it's off the table. 
I'm not saying that we never use no, American grass roots. No, you have said I, it's off the table. I, I do not on, think on that we should be using it. I don't think we should be using American ground troops in Iraq today right. because at the end of the day, if we go in and solve the Iraqis' military problem for them, I guarantee you we'll be back solving it again and, and two you, years, three years down the road. They, and, and I can and say if that this was just a, If this was just a Middle East conflict, civil war, stay the hell out. We shouldn't be having anything to do with it. But this group is coming for us. The president's responsibility is to protect the American people. If the president thinks that he needs to arm Syrian rebels in order to do that, I'm going to vote with him. If he thinks that he needs airstrikes, this Congress should have voted, and I would have voted with him. And if he comes and he makes a case to the American people and say, hey, you know, the only way we're going to be able to protect our country is that to have ground troops, I'm going to give that very, very serious consideration. And I think to say I will give under it. no conditions, no way is, is a problem. Time's running out. Final I'm not word said over under here. no conditions. But make it, let me be absolutely clear. I will not give Washington the benefit of the doubt when it comes to putting young Americans in the harm's way. ISIS is a national security threat to the United States of America, and our policy should be to defeat ISIS. But we've got to make sure that we make the most careful decisions and, before we put Americans in the and, harm's way. And at the I, end of the day, we are, we are Iraq, at the end of the agreement. day, Iraq has to be able to defend its own people and defend its own borders. And if we go and do Iraq's job for them again, we'll be back doing it again in two years. Gentlemen, that's all our time. Very thank interesting you, John. conversation. John, thank you for having us have to have us back again. Okay, I think I will. This, I, I really enjoyed this. No heavy lifting for me. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks. very much. Good to see you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank nice you. To see you. Richard Tissay, the Republican nominee, nice and Seth Moulton, the Democratic nominee in the 6th Congressional District. That's it for me. Now, back to my colleagues.